What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, April 15th. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. We are rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Robert Williams, Andrew Wiggins, Giannis Antetokounmpo, if he plays, Draymond Green, and Trey Young on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, we're going to the power forward spot. We're grabbing Harrison Barnes. He's 5,800, projected for 29. The goal is 42, and he is in the optimal lineup 32% of the time. Now, Barnes has been playing massive minutes. Normally, I give every starter, like, you know, full-time starter gets 36 minutes. That's generally, like, the accepted cap in the industry. He's playing more than that right now, so I've got him at 38. 0.76 Fanduel points per minute, however, though. So not the best spot in the world. He, taking on Phoenix, it's a it's a tricky spot, and he's just not that kind of DFS guy. So 17% usage, 15.5 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, a stock. But really, a $5,800 price tag on a power forward on a four-game slate that's going to play 38 minutes? I am betting on the minutes in the price tag here. If he happens to fall into extra stats, even better. Next up at number four, we're staying in the same game, going to the small forward spot and grabbing Mikel Bridges. He's 5,200, projected for 26. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 33% of the time. This is basically the same scenario, just minus the huge minutes. So I've got Mikel Bridges at 32 minutes, 0.82 FanDuel points per minute, 15% usage, so a little lighter there. 13 points, four boards, two assists, two stocks. So the chance to get a kind of more ridiculous steals and blocks type game out of Bridges. The big benefit here, Bridges gets to face Barnes' Sacramento team. Sacramento's defense is absolutely dreadful. I mean, they're not very good as a team in general, dropping a ton of games as of late. So 5,200 at a small forward spot for Bridges in the best matchup on the slate, that is a spot that I cannot ignore. Next up at number three, we're staying at the small forward spot. We're going to Kent Bazemore. He is 5K, projected for 26 and a half. The goal is 39 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. Bazemore is seeing additional run with Kelly Oubre out, and Kelly Oubre is out once again tonight. So 32 minutes for Kent Bazemore, 0.83 FanDuel points per minute. 18% usage. Are you sensing a theme here for some of these guys? 12 and a half points, five boards, two assists, two stocks, pace down spot pretty significantly against Cleveland. But while you're losing in pace, you're gaining in the fact that you get to play the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that is generally speaking, a benefit for everyone. But really a 5k small forward. I think he pairs very well with Bridges, two separate games. You're not spending a ton of money. You're not spending a ton of salary, I guess we should say, uh, on the small forward position. I think he looks great. Mixing and matching these last three guys is pretty easy. And you can see, it's kind of just flat. The difference between, say, Kent Bazemore and Andrew Wiggins is pretty marginal. If I move a minute one way and the other, you could flip-flop these guys. It's kind of tightly packed here at the top. Next up in the number two spot, we're going to point guard Dennis Schroeder. He is 6,600, projected for 35. The goal is 45, and he is in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. Now, he sees massive usage bumps with no LeBron and no AD, and that isn't stopping quite yet. So 1.03 FanDuel points per minute, 34 minutes, 26% usage. That's 18 points, almost eight assists, three and a half boards. You get a steal. Now, it is a slight pace down spot against Boston, but I'm honestly not all that worried about it. I like this price and usage. It's a really weird four-game slate, and I think Dennis Schroeder has a relatively high raw point ceiling but he's only 6,600. I want to bet on minutes and usage on a day like today, and there aren't many combinations better than Dennis Schroeder. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. You got to follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelin, so you can get updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. But I will let you know, there aren't going to be any updates today. I've got some plans tonight. I am not playing this slate. I am not going to be around. I won't even be near the computer anywhere close to lock. So apologies for that. Just wanted to let you guys know in advance, but you can still head to the comment section and let me know who your favorite and least favorite contenders are for this slate.
And finally, the number one contender on FanDuel today is shooting guard Tyrese Halliburton. He is 5,400, projected for 28 and a half. The goal is 41, and he is in the optimal lineup 42% of the time. The shooting guard spot is just pretty difficult to fill today, and that's why you're seeing Halliburton climb to the top. He's been down a little bit on a per minute basis, but I'm thinking he's just hitting a rookie wall. I'm expecting him to come out of the other side soon. Gave him 31 minutes, 18% usage, 13 points, five assists, three boards, two stocks. Again, it's a tough matchup against Phoenix, but you have to be rostering guys like this. And Halliburton at 5,400, playing north of 30 minutes, I can't overlook the minute to dollar ratio. It looks really nice here. I expect Halliburton to be quite popular. I expect him to be an overwhelmingly recommended cash option on FanDuel at the shooting guard spot. So for right now, Tyrese Halliburton is the number one contender on today's slate. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, April 15th. There's a DraftKings version of this video around here somewhere. Don't be afraid to click on that. Check out the process show that's already in the books, and then I'll be on the strategy show with Adam Kaufman coming up at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's all I've got today. Good luck tonight, everybody. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.